What's up guys, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, everyone, I'm going to show you guys the needed-to-know commands for Linux Mint. Now, these aren't sincerely needed, but um, they could help you out um, later on in the Linux to get something, um, to just view something really quickly. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So just first, go ahead and open up your Linux terminal. Um, so yeah, as I said, I am doing this in Linux Mint. Um, and these fir the first command I have is just simply DAT, which is date, and then just hit enter. And that will just simply show you the date. Wednesday, September 20, uh, 20, 31 o'clock. Uh, that just means um, 8, 31 o'clock. So, um, yeah, I, I, um, the terminal is um, by default set into 24-hour time. So, yeah, let's go ahead to the next command. So, the next c command is CAL, and now this will just show you a little calendar with the um, your current date on it. Um, you can see it's um, highlighted right here. The 20 is highlighted because it is the, um, it is the 20th of September. Um, you can see it looks exactly like this. Um, graphical one right here. Um, so yeah, there's just a simple command for that, and here is another one. Um, now this one will show you who you are if you don't know who you are. Like, if you're just looking here, you might not <laughs> you might not see that or something. This is just, it's kind of useless if you know who you are, but if you just want to do this for fun, then um, I recommend it. The command is, who am I? And it'll just say your name. Mine is mine. My username is TechBizmo here. Um, all right. So the next command, um, this will show you the CPU info, so your processor type and processor info, um, and the processor speed of your computer. Um, so the command is cat space slash proc slash CPU info hit enter and you will get this um, lovely um, big nice texts here they're not it's not a big text but um, there's a lot of them <laughs> yeah you can see here I have an i5 4210U CPU with um, 1.7 gigahertz that just basically guys if you don't know that just means a fourth generation um, i5 CPU um, so the next command is um, you you name space slash a or no dash a um, so this one will show you your kernel information so just hit enter and you can see my kernel information right there Linux Tech Bismo PC 4.8.053 generic you can read all that if you want um, yeah GNU slash Linux um, so yeah that is a pretty cool command um, another cool command is um, LS and this will just show you desktop documents download Kaden Live, which is my video video editing software, music, pictures, public templates, video by techbismo.mkv, that is the video I'm currently recording, and videos. So all you have to do now, um, what this will do, this will just show you the files in the folder. So if I just do um, LS space Kaden Live, that'll show proxy, thumbs, titles, and untitled dot WebM. So if I go ahead and go to my file manager and I head over to Caden Live, you can see all that that it says right there is right in the Caden Live folder. Alright, so the next command is last but not least um, CD. So this is a very common one. Um, I'm sure most of you, maybe even all of you, know this, but um, it's just CD and um, when you hit that it it does nothing but then if you do CD space desktop it'll show uh, um, you'll be in the desktop directory so um, yeah now I'm pretty much in the desktop inside of the terminal so um, <laughs> later on I will be doing some tutorials with the CD uh, command and stuff um, that's not what I'm going to be doing in this video so yeah guys well that is it um, 
Well, yeah, guys, I hope you found that helpful and useful, and, of course, this was just, you know, a little, some little tips and tricks for Linux Mint. I will be having another tips and tricks video, um, probably, I'll, I'll probably make one right after this one, um, in fact, so. Yeah, guys, anyway, that is it, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Goodbye.